Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Landros and this is The Sims 3 World Adventures. We just arrived in China and Kevin is actually ready to go ahead and deliver that Mercury and hopefully this is going to finish up this last part of the chain that we've been working on. Just going to take a moment. I know that the last episode was very riveting, but unfortunately there's just not a whole lot you can do in between those trips and I really just wanted to get him back and finish up on this, this adventure. On our last trip to China, we got a lot of stuff done, but we only had three days. We packed it in pretty much as tight as we could. In this one, we've got five days, so hopefully we're going to get quite a bit done here too. I don't even know where he is. Oh, he's going up the hill. Okay. Again, anytime you're in, this, in China, you are going to be going in so many different directions and Sometimes it just takes it forever to get to these different places. Okay, tell me that that's not the person that just left. <laughs> I think that was our person and they're leaving us. Okay, this happens every once in a while. As soon as you get there, it's like they've been frozen in time and they decide they want to leave. So we're going to follow him. Easiest thing to do is just cancel out of the activity and then go right back and start again. And of course it stopped in midway down the hill, so at least we'll get this part done. Oh, he was going to work. Sasume Bonita. Mm -hmm. Please. Okay, the mini Emperor's Honor Guard. I thank you again. Oh, Trat, I'm sorry. It seems I neglected to provide adequate protection within the first Emperor's miniature tomb. As the tomb is small, the neighbors simply will not fit. Perhaps you could bring two red assassin bugs instead. You will be paid some simoleons and some ancient coins. Okay. Didn't know that this was the one we were doing. The red assassin bugs, sometimes they are very easy to find. Here lately, they have been incredibly hard to find. Um... Let me go ahead and pause this here. As you scan around and you're looking for them, it's not looking good. Normally I would have seen something by now. This means that we're going to have to sit around and wait until things start to spawn again. And usually when you hear the little music cue, then you know something's happened and you can check again. Okay, that doesn't look good. I guess what we're going to do is take Kevin over to the Martial Arts Academy, which is actually right up here and we'll have him start working on some skills instead of wasting time. I could always just have him... Um, okay, there's what I wanted. He's trying to earn his level 2 visa. We can actually at this point call people over to do a ranked match. And we do want to do that, but right now I just want to give him some more practice. I want to get him a little bit higher up before we start sparring and it doesn't matter. I mean, it's not like they do and It doesn't hurt them if they lose. But I really just want to get him up at least to a level 5 so that when we get the adventure that needs it, we're not behind. And no sound with the motorcycle. So my little thought or theory is correct. I think it's just wherever you start the game, you'll get the sound. If you travel somewhere else, you'll lose it. Again, the Red Assassin Bug quest, it's frustrating because they don't spawn, they're very rare, but it's actually very rewarding because we're going to make a lot of money off of it. And we could definitely use it. I know we're, we're not too bad off. We've still got close to $5,000, but our simoleons, I keep calling them dollars. Force of habit. All right, let's go over here and just go ahead and continue uh, breaking some boards. And... It's about 10.45 a.m. I think it's going to start, I think we're going to hear the little, uh, the little tones or the music somewhere around 12 o'clock. All right, sometimes it drives me nuts. I want him to go. If I look at his journal, I don't know. I think we were about 50% last time we looked towards his actual visa. And, oh, he's up to 74%, so it's not going to take long, and we're going to have that level 2 visa, or level 3 visa, actually. No, it's level 2. I'm sorry. Okay. 
Come on. Now, going up in town, I don't think anything has spawned, but I just like to keep an eye on it while he's working. I like to look and see if anything is actually showing up. And it's not looking good. I've literally spent the entire trip waiting on those red assassin bugs to show up. So far, nothing. That's okay. Now he's over here at the academy, but we can also take him over here to the scholar garden. And over here is a great place for them to come and actually do some harvesting. This is one of the, the places where you'll get the cherries. You don't get them in any of the other neighborhoods. So if you want to have cherries in your, in your home, you come over here, you pick them, and then you can take them back. And if your skill is high enough, you can plant them and grow them back wherever you live. Um, we'll get a quest to come over here and do some meditating. But you can also come over here and you can work out on, I believe they've got a training dummy. I don't think they have a board breaker. Yeah, the training dummy's right there. No board breaker. And the fish, unfortunately, if you have pets installed, you can't bring the fish back. So you can fish all you want, but you can't actually bring them back to your hometown. There's just something about it. It doesn't register or it registers as if they're pets for some reason. How many is he actually hitting now? Okay, he's got five. I'm going to let him get this one, and then we're going to switch him over to... Yeah, we're going to go over to Oak Woods. I normally let him hit it. At, once he's hitting five, do it maybe you know, two or three times, and then switch him over. That way you know you're not going to injure him. Okay, at this point, all of these will start to count. And what I mean by counting is over here in his skills, he's working on his martial arts, but in the journal, there is some challenges down here. And he wants to be a timber terminator. He needs to actually break 150 boards. They've got to be oak or bigger or, or greater. And so he hasn't done any of them yet until this one. All right. You continue breaking those boards. We're going to look for the bugs. This is when that collection helper, or, um, yeah, the collection helper reward would actually help out. But that's 40,000 lifetime points and we're nowhere near it. This is not looking like we're going to be lucky today. That's okay. If not, we will just use this as a training day. And I think it does this on purpose. They know that you need to be working on your skills and if you're doing that, that's a good thing. This gym here is really nice. Um, the inside, you can actually stay here. You don't even have to go back to the base camp. And there's a lot of times that I do. I just stay right here. Uh, there's no bed, but he's got the sleeping bag, and he can sleep basically anywhere where he can find a spot to place it. Uh, there is a shower. There's a toilet. There's nowhere to cook, but you've got your dried food if you really have to eat something. Upstairs, of course, you have another part of the gym with the board breaker and with your training dummy. And then over here on the other side, there's a chess table, but there's also an outdoor chess table too. You can work on both your logic skill with that or with the, the telescope. And then, of course, if you want to read, I don't know that there's really much in here that you can read. Um, it's just their fiction or their regular books. There's no none of the skill books that you would need, but they're all unique to China. So it's not like the books you would get at the regular library in your home world. Okay, he's broken 50 boards. So he's not too far from getting his 150. Well, wait a minute. That may just be 50 of the other type too. So I'm probably wrong. Okay, as soon as he gets done with that, he's going to go ahead and take a shower over here. This bathroom becomes a nightmare because everybody wants to go use this one bathroom. It's the only one on the lot. And there's constantly a fight to get in and out. Okay, he's getting close and he'll be up at a level 5 very soon. Once he gets to level 5, 
then we can get a lot more done because he can meditate. And if he's meditating, he's still increasing his martial arts skill. All right. Yeah, he's dying. And he got... Well, he got close. Not close enough. Okay, over here we still have a full moon coming in two days. And since we're going to be here for five days, we will actually see a full moon happen here in, in China. I don't know if it'll be any different than it is in Moonlight Falls. But it'll be interesting to see, actually. No bugs. Nothing. Now there's the dragon's maw. We can always go back in these tombs and while he's doing his shower, we'll just go back over and look at, this is the tomb we did at the very end. And you can see that it's all still open. It's still exactly the way we left it. Doors are open here. Um, there's new coins that have spawned. There's going to be something new here in the, the actual chest. If we wanted to go back through this tomb, if we have nothing else to do, we can do that. And of course down here, there's more treasure. Not as much as what there was the first time, but there is some here. And we can always, of course, go back and look in all of the sarcophagus and see if there's anything else here too. But for now, we'll wait. He is finished with his shower, and while he's in there, let's just go ahead and use the bathroom, because I'm going to take him over to... Let's take him over to the Forbidden City. That's one of his wishes to go visit the Forbidden City, so let's just go ahead and do it. While we're there, we can have dinner, and that's all we need to do. Yeah, this is actually much easier to get in and out of than the base camp, um, just because the base camp has all those stairs. But this one has the long hill, so it's kind of your choice which one you want to live at. One nice thing about all of these worlds, there are camps that you can stay at. You just have to find them. And if you go into map view, you'll see them. Uh, Egypt has some really great little little oasis in the desert that you can just go and camp there. And you don't have to worry about going all the way back to base camp if you are out in the middle of somewhere. They all have them, and I sometimes forget about them. And I intend to go to the same two places. I go either back to the academy or back to base camp. Okay, he has got his reward. Very nice. You can actually sleep right here um, on the street. Well, actually, this is on the plaza. This is a community lot, so you can actually stay right here if you want to. He's not that hungry, but we're going to go ahead and take care of it now. Since we have nothing else to do, and maybe we can just start meeting a few of these people and talking to them a little bit. You're going to want to make friends with at least probably three to four people in town. What's going to happen is you're going to get some adventures that they'll say, convince this many locals that you should do this quest. And if you don't have much of a friendship with them, they're, going to, they're not going to agree to it. And you're going to spend your entire day trying to do that. All right. Let's go. Um, let's do egg rolls. We can also check the relics here and see if there's anything that we want. I tend not to want to buy any of the relics that we're searching for because the whole point of the game is to find them on our own. But like I said in one of the previous episodes, if you get down to the end, you're about finished with China, you've got just about everything discovered, and you're, you may be missing one or two little items, you can come over and check and see if they have them. Some of the items that you would get, you would have to go do the excavation sites, and like I said, we don't really see too many of them because we haven't been going to too many different places yet. Okay, I'm going to have him go ahead and introduce himself. And let's, let's get to know Xing Hong. Xing Hong was, he was in my last game, it's pretty funny. He kept, we kept fighting with him, in a good way. We had to spar with him. Okay, we're going to get to know. Okay, discuss adventures. Funny. They all love to make this silly face. If it works, it works. 
Now, they, there's the option here to learn a song, and in every country they have two songs. We're going to have him learn the first one. The only thing is, anytime he's in the shower or doing something, he's going to start singing the song. But it's fine. It's something that something that he wants to do. But usually he'll get a request for it, but if he doesn't, I just go ahead and let him do it anyway. Alright, while he's doing that, we'll come back before he does the song, but let's just see if any bugs have come out at night. Oh good, one of them has. And... Oh, hang on, let me go back in. I want to cancel out on all of this because once you see one of those bugs, you want to stop and drop everything and go get it. And they are hard to find. They're not too hard, but they come out and you'll just see them briefly. I'm going to send him over here now. There it is. Okay, it's just crawling. Hopefully he will get here. I am going to speed it up so he can get here and catch this one. Because if he doesn't get it, we may be waiting a couple of days. Alright, Kevin, come on. They will disappear. They don't stay out for very long. He didn't catch it. Oh. Yeah, I'm thinking the same thing. Alright, let's see if anything else came out. Yeah, that's another thing that can happen. He can actually get there, but he can not catch the bug. Okay, another one all the way on the other side of town. Okay. Get a little closer, see if we can find it. Just go ahead and start coming. I don't... Oh, there it is. These things are the worst things in the world to try to catch. Hopefully there will be at least another one that will spawn tonight so we don't have to spend another day wasted. Ooh, don't drop. Oh, oh, gosh. Oh, he's killing me here. All right. You know, before you drop and sleep, let's see. I believe this is a camp right here. So let's go ahead and visit the camp. You had the chance to get both of them and you lost them both. Pretty disappointing. Okay, in this camp, he can actually go ahead and sleep right here in this in this tent. He's got a bathroom. There's no shower, but, you know, being smelly is not going to kill him. just not going to make him popular. We do have the shower in the can, and I don't really want to waste it, but he's not at any risk right now. Okay, at 1 o'clock in the morning, that's when new things spawn, so... When you hear the music, there you go. Let's give it a few seconds, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look and see. Did any bugs come out? And of course they didn't. No. All right, well, we may be doing some more martial arts today. This is what happens, and like I said, I... I would cancel out of this request because it doesn't really go any further. This is the last part of the chain, I believe, but it is worth a lot of money. So to me, it's like, yeah, it may be frustrating, but if you can get some martial arts skills done, it can kind of balance out. If we were a celebrity, we would have paparazzi driving us nuts right here. And she's just some local. Okay, he's going to get up, and before he does anything, I will send him back over to eat. Let's see. No bugs, no bugs. Oh, come on, just one. We're so far out. Alright, let's just go ahead. Oh, he's going to go ahead and eat. That's fine. We're close enough, we're just going to go over here to the Martial Arts Academy, and we'll try working out just a little bit more. Wait and see if we can get any more bugs to show up, or assassin bugs to show up. Okay, back to Kevin. It's a pretty long haul to get all the way back up there.
I think in the last game, I spent three days looking for these bugs. And he had them. He had them both yesterday. We could have been done. And usually they don't, he doesn't drop them. He sent it, this is the second game I've had where he's lost the bugs or he hasn't been able to catch them. Normally he just goes right to them and grabs them. Okay, I don't see anything that we can collect. Oh, there's something over there, but... What I'm really looking for is excavation sites, which I don't see one yet. Okay. No excavation sites over here. They're good to stop at just because you might dig up something that you would otherwise not find anywhere else. And so I do like to look for those and stop when I see them. Unless we're under a time crunch and we need to get the quest or the adventure done. Alright, he is taking his time, isn't he? Oh. Now watch, as soon as he gets in there and he gets started, then the, the assassin bugs will show up and probably be right back where he was. And we'll have to go back to that whole trip again. Where are you going? You know, before you do that, let's see who's out here, actually. And up there upstairs. Let's go upstairs and let's spar with this guy. This is Shinsu. You want to spar as many times as you can because you need to win this. I think you need to participate in 75 sparring matches. And once you do that, uh, you'll have a higher chance of winning any matches that you go up against. So we haven't done any. This will be our first one. Go on. All right, let's just go ahead and spar. And normally it's a friendly interaction, so they will actually end up uh, you make friends while you're sparring, so you're actually, you're building relationships, you're building your social, and you're also building martial arts skill, so, and athletic, so it's all really a, a good thing to do. Now you're going to notice that these are mirrors, but I have turned the reflections off. Uh, if you find that you're getting a lot of lag in your game, go ahead and turn your reflections off in your mirrors. It tends to, it tends to help out a little bit. But when I'm recording, I notice more lag than normal, so I turn the reflection off just to make sure that it's a little bit better. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let him spar a couple more times. I'll click on him, and while he's doing that, I'm going to look and see any more bugs. Nothing. I say that we've only looked at a small part of the town. Ah, oh. yeah, this can be really annoying. Then they'll all show up at the very last, and then we'll be rushing to try to get something done. That's okay. As long as we're doing something and it's productive, I don't mind. Now, if you look over here at the relationship, this is Shin... No, that's Shin Hong. Here's our guy. And we're actually gonna we're gonna build a little relationship here with him, and that'll help out in case we have to convince locals of anything. We actually won. We defeated him. That's pretty good. He's a much higher, much stronger artist than, than we are. We're about to hit our level five. Now, the one nice thing about meditating is that if you meditate and then you actually uh, go into your meditative trance for, I believe it's five hours or four hours, something like that, you get the option to Xenoport, which basically is just click on some area and you will teleport instantly over there. You do need that for a couple of the tombs, so you definitely want to have it. It's another skill challenge that you can do if you meditate, I believe it's 150 hours, then you can cut down on the amount of time it takes to to get to that meditative trance state. But like I said, the nice thing about it is if he gets exhausted, he can always just meditate and raise up his skill. It'll do nothing for his athletic, 
but it will definitely help his martial arts skill. While you're doing it, let's just keep on going. Oh, we won again. Very nice. That's uh, just because he's tired. And we hit level 5, so that's great. So we are a level 5 martial artist. We can now meditate. That's perfect. Alright, let's see. He wants to meditate, and I think that would be great. You want to call her? That's fine. Please, please, just show me the bugs. Oh, wait, there's one. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's going to be around the back of that. So where are you? We're just going to cancel out of these activities because he needs to get up here quick. Alright, I saw them. I did see them. Let me go back up. It's probably right here on the side then. Come on. Where are you? I can hear you, I just can't see you. Oh, that is insane. Okay. I went where it told me to go, but I don't see him. Okay. I can hear him. I really can't. They better not be on the inside. Are they? No. Like I said, the most frustrating challenge that you're going to come across. Was oh, that a staircase that took us downstairs? There's a lot of seeds. We could pick those up. There they are. Yeah, we're going to have to go down. We can't get there. But there are some treasure chests here. It says catch. I bet you you can't get to it. Uh-huh. I know, you can't get to it. We haven't opened or unlocked that tomb. You can try going in there, but I don't think it's going to help us one bit. I'll look for more bugs while he's going to that tomb. Or actually, it's not a tomb, it's just a, a basement. Okay. Nothing there. This is one I normally don't come to. I just... I don't know. It, there's, no ever, there's never really an adventure that brings us here, so... But we do have these treasure chests, and we could get lucky and find something valuable over here. So, we'll give it a try. Look along the wall, see if there's any way to get out of here. Coins. Okay. Oh, there's a money bag, so we'll at least get some money out of this. Okay, and there's a gem. Very nice. Okay. It's not helping me. I'm looking one last time. Get underneath that big rock. They're not coming out, so even though they're there, we can't get to them, so that's okay. I'll go ahead and send him back to the base camp. He can get showered, and maybe he can make something to eat. Well, he's not hungry at all, so he's fine. Actually, stop. Let's see. Is he closer to the academy instead? I think he's about, about the same. A little bit more. Um, he just used his shower in a can. That's why his hygiene just went up. You've got to be kidding me. Okay. Well, Kevin, this is just not good. It's going back to the academy and work out. That's all I can think of to do with you right now. Um, maybe there'll be somebody there to spar with. 
And I'm going to speed it up so he gets over there because this has just been a lot of running around for nothing. You run into this in the beginning, and especially with this quest, it's to me it's one of the most infuriating ones just because you're waiting for something that doesn't happen very often. So, when you get it, just, just realize you're going to be doing this for a while. Is that guy still there? Yeah, let's go get his farm. Oh, that's somebody new. Who is this one? Lee Wan. We're not tired yet, so we're going to go ahead and introduce ourselves and start sparring with him. I keep clicking on him. I gotta wait. Okay, now we can spar. Let's just do it a couple of times. And it's not quite five o'clock. Oh, we lost that last sparring match, which we should have lost all three, so we just got lucky. Now you'll notice that right now he's he's not too bad. He's better than he was in the very beginning. But when he gets to the end, and when he gets to be a level ten and it's really practiced. He is pretty amazing. So. Alright, I'm going to look for those bugs. And if I don't find the bugs... Oh, that's not the same one, is it? Nope, there's two more. Let's cancel out. Please come over here and get these bugs. There they are. Alright, you're going to catch that one. Cancel that out too. Come on over here. Come on out. Don't you do this. You have to be in um, in play mode. You can't can't be on pause or they won't show up. I don't see him again. That is so frustrating. Come on. You gotta be around here. Wait. Yep, that's it right there. Like I said, they are very difficult and you as soon as you see them, you've gotta just drop everything and go do it. Don't drop these. You can do this. Pick him up. Oh, God, love oh good. He got it. <laughs> Alright. Just, just catch the second one. And that's all I care about. All he needs is two. Just catch it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me! Ah, all right, come on. Let's go ahead and go ahead and pause and let's see if there's any more. That would have been just too perfect. Like I said, it, oh, here's another one. That's not that same one, is it? Oh yeah, it is. Well, that's not going to help us at all because we can't get to them. The last few games, it has been increasingly more difficult to catch these stupid bugs. And it may be that I'm doing something wrong, but I don't think so. I think I'm doing exactly what you're supposed to do. Um, it's just, it's a challenge. So, let's see. We're going to have to go ahead and give up on this bug. And that's just, that's terrible. Okay, well, he's getting pretty tired, and he needs to go to the bathroom, so we're going to go ahead and send him back to the base camp. We'll let him sleep in a bed tonight. And since base camp is right here, let's just go ahead and tell him where to go. Uh, and maybe tomorrow morning, one of the bugs will have spawned. 
it's really early, but that's okay. We'll go to the bathroom, we'll get into eat something quick. And uh, we'll get him we'll get him up early in the morning so he can actually get off to a good start and maybe get those bugs first thing in the morning. Well guys, I'm sorry. I had hoped that it would be a little bit more exciting. I think it's a little bit more exciting than the fifth episode. But anyway, or the fourth episode, I can't remember. Anyway, um, wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful morning, afternoon, or night. And please like the video, subscribe if you like the channel and want to see more. Please leave comments if you have anything you want to see in the game. Um, I'm always looking to see if anybody is joining us on this little world adventure series. So until the next time, have a wonderful night and I will talk to you soon.